Good morning, everybody. This is day number two of trying to survive on $10 while I'm still remaining here in Lebanon. And as you can see, we have $5.96 left. Now, I can't spend any more money today, tomorrow, or the next day if we're gonna stay on track. So I'm gonna try to take you guys along my day, showing you guys what I do when I don't spend any money. First, we're gonna go on a walk, but in order to do that, we need water. Gotta stay hydrated. This is a rare sight, you should savor it. Headphones in. Smartwatch on. I honestly really love this thing. I used to use my smartwatch to track all of my walks so that I could like find out how many steps I'm taking and whatnot, but that would just murder my battery every time I would do it. So if I wanna keep my phone alive, this is a really great solution there. Oh shit, forgot to take my pills. Back to the water we go. I still haven't found a way to get an alternative prescription for this pill, so I need to start looking for that one in Greece. Um, I can definitely tell that my hairline is receding, but I'm not sure if that's just because I'm not able to use minoxidil anymore. Um, I just need to keep taking the pill, otherwise it will definitely go away. Anyway, we are off. Let's go for a walk. You know, it hasn't rained in the entire time I've been here. Like, not even once. This is one of the only places i found in Lebanon that has sidewalks that are free of cars and free of debris. Like, they've got a guy right there cleaning the debris off the sidewalk. I'm not sure if you can see him. This sidewalk is fantastic to go walking on. They even have some, like, old-school phone booths, but they don't take cash. They only take cards, and I'm not about to put a credit card in here. I'm not even sure if it works. Let me see if I can get this to the show. Yeah, I don't even think it has power. But still, that's kind of cool. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I used an actual phone like this. It's been at least a decade. Okay, but it is actually crazy how stabilized this lens is. Like, from using those other cameras these past few days, it makes me really appreciate just how ridiculously good the Note 10 is. I do have one complaint about these sidewalks, though. Right, like right in the middle of the sidewalk, they've just got these holes right here and they're not covered with anything. So at night, if you're walking, I've fallen in these like multiple times. See, look at this, some of them have covers. I don't know why they all don't. There's also a really strong military presence right now. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like we have electricity. So that's cool. Now let's do food. I'm thinking noodles and tuna fish. I had this from when I got groceries before. This is like a dollar, a dollar a can. This is kind of crazy. Should not have bought that. But yeah, noodles and tuna fish. The thing is, I had people in my last video tell me that I'm able to stick the noodles right in the kettle. Um, I don't know how kettles work all that well, so we're gonna try this. But I'm worried that I'm gonna fuck up my kettle if I stick anything other than water in this. Because I know like a coffee pot, you can't stick noodles in that. And this is basically a British coffee pot. So water is in there. Let's get a noodle bin. Okay. They don't fit. Oh shit, I just made a mess. Oh well. I'm gonna crunch this one up on the side first so that it'll fit in the pot. Of truth. Hey, look at that, it fit. Okay. In with the other parts of the noodle. Okay. Power on, let's check it out. We lost power the second after I turned this on. So now, my noodles are just gonna sit there soaking in the water with no electricity. Fucking great. Fucking great. While I wait for the power to turn on, I'm just gonna eat some ramen noodles like this. Because the thing is, I don't have any other food. This is all I have. Just a pro tip though, if you are gonna be eating dry ramen, you wanna have like a catch bag underneath it to catch it because you get real messy stuff falling out of it. We have electricity again, so we're going back to the noodles. They are kind of soggy at this point. I hope that that's not gonna affect it because I would really like some hot food. Oh wait, no, I can't stick it on the boiler until the water is in the thing. Okay, now let's see what happens if we try to use a kettle as a pot. Oh, I don't like that sound. It definitely looks like the noodles are expanding, so this this might be a this might be a workable solution. Okay, now let's strain it. Hey, it's got a built-in strainer. That's cool. It's convenient. 
I'm confident I'm gonna fuck this up if I try to do it with one hand. Okay, we're gonna use two hands. We're just gonna use the forward facing camera. Nothing looks burnt. That's good. Uh, well, that was before I looked at the bottom of the pot. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna go with the soak in the sink. Now for the tuna. Into the pasta you go. This is what we are eating today. This is our one singular meal, aside from the other dry ramen that we ate earlier. God, I'm fucking starving. So, one of the things that they do here is their uh, ramen packets. They've got, you can see this like line through it. One of them is like the regular seasoning, and one of them is like a chili powder. So this has got some spice to it. I like that, I wish our ramen did that. So well, guys, I go to the blockchain and I found his profile, DrakeBell.E. Now right away, I... Now that we've eaten dinner, we're gonna shave. I've not salmon shaved since I've been in Ukraine, but my hair is getting long, my beard is getting long. Let's go knock all of this down. We have a couple different razor heads here for the different lengths that we want. So you're supposed to use this and this to clean out the razor, and then these are the things that you use to actually cut your hair with. Typically, I would use toilet paper to stop the drain, but for reasons we'll get into later, this place doesn't have toilet paper, so we're just gonna use a plastic bag thing to stop the hair from getting inside the sink. Let's go. There we go, got my hair cut, got my beard trimmed. I mean this from the bottom of my heart when I say that I will never pay for a haircut again because I can do it myself. Now all I've gotta do is clean up the bathroom and then I wanna show you guys how the shower works. So the shower is connected to the sink. The sink is connected to this big water heater right there, which means we only get hot water when we have electricity. But we've had it for a couple hours, so I'm hoping that that's hot. Now the way that this works is this means it's going to the sink, this means it's going to the shower. I think it's one or the other then. But the hot water gets super hot, so you've gotta be very careful. You've gotta put it on the sink first, and you've got to get it just right because this thing is so hot. But then, once that's ready, you flip this up and it just comes out of this little handle right here. But you might think this is weird because this isn't a shower. But it turns out the entire room is a shower because it's got a drain right there. And the lip of the bathroom is just a little bit higher. So the water can't actually get out. But if it does, they've got another drain right there for you. The entire room is a shower. Yeah, and there's no toilet paper in here because obviously that would get wet from all of the humidity. So, yeah, and then when you're done, you've got this little squeegee. You're supposed to like squeegee the floor with it and it works really well, like it's a great squeegee. Okay, I got the temperature right. Now we just flip this up. Ah, oh, cold. Yeah, so this thing, it just comes off and you just use the entire bathroom. Oh, it's got a little, uh, little door to keep the water out. That's how the shower works here. I don't have like shampoo or conditioner or anything, so I just use this hand soap for my hair, for my body, just everything. It's just hand soap. Oh shit, the, the drain on the bottom is clogged, so the floor is building up with water. Fuck. I got in the pocket. Okay, there we go. I'm honestly not sure if this is against YouTube guidelines. Um, this video might not get monetized, it might get removed. I don't know. <laughs> The thing is, I don't actually have a towel though, so every time I get out of the shower, I just have to like sit here and air dry. It's fine, it's fine. Um, that is the end of day number two, living on $10 here. We brought our daily average down to $2.02 .02 per day. So I just need to do this for two more days, and then we're good. But if you guys wanna see what happens tomorrow, click this card right here. If you wanna see how this started, click this one.